Hi there, welcome back. Thanks everyone for your continued support. Today I will present a full package of essential templates for DaVinci Resolve. I have reviewed and optimized all the templates for the latest Resolve version 18, I hope you will enjoy them. If you want to know more details about individual templates, you can find their links below in the descriptions. For the speech bubble template, I added the auto size option. The size will be automatically adjusted as we enter the text. If needed we can also adjust the size with these extend width and extend height parameters. If you want to control the size manually, you can turn off the auto size option. Another change is the shadow control, you can set the strength to zero if shadow is not required. There are a few minor changes in the arrow line template. Now we can change the cap style of the line, this could be useful if the line doesn't have arrows attached. For example, if we turn off the starting arrow, we can use this parameter to change style. Another change is the animation time control, instead of the speed control, it's now using frames to define the length of animation. I also reorganized the parameters in the colors tab. Arrow colors will be only available when the separate arrow colors is checked. Please note that you must have both Wingdings and Wingdings 3 fonts installed in your system in order to use this template. Essential Rectangle is a very simple template, it generates an animated rectangle. It's mainly used in my tutorial videos to highlight the areas I want to focus on. The Essential Shape template was almost rebuilt entirely. After upgrading to version 18, it got very slow and not responsive if I tried to use the duplicate function. After rebuilding the template, we now use these buttons to change the shape type. We can click this Enable, Disable Merge Mode button to combine different shapes to create some very unique shapes. With the help of duplicate and jitter controls, not only can we create individual static shapes, but also interesting animations of multiple shapes. The Shockwave generator is relatively new, other than the minor changes in the inspector, such as grouping the subwave controls, it's basically the same composition in the back. Previously, we used the fast noise tool and created two different sky background effects. In this new template, I combined a few different backgrounds into one template. With these version controls, you can choose the different presets and play with the parameters to get something you like. Fast Noise Node is a very versatile tool for different effects and animations. This speed line effect is another example of using the Fast Noise tool. Once again, the Texture Background templates use a Fast Noise node. With the parameters in these two tabs, the results are unlimited. You can select the different backgrounds using these version buttons. These are just a few possibilities out of the Fast Noise tool. The 3D Golden title is an example of a cinematic title. It uses a 3D text node and a directional blur node to create this lighting animation effect. This cinematic title template demonstrates how we can use hotspot nodes, fast noise and other fusion tools to create an animated cinematic title in Fusion. And the ribbon title template is another complex fusion composition. It uses fusion shapes to create the ribbon shape and simulates a 3D look using 3D displacement tools. The essential title is my latest fusion macro template. It combines style and animation presets in one template and creates titles of different styles and animations in just a few clicks. 
The only change added after the last update is the background color control. Instead of only the solid color, we can now choose different color types and settings in the edit page. The 3D effect provides a quick way to add a 3D effect to titles and image logos. For example, apply the 3D effect to this title, it turns 3D right away. And we can change the 3D look and feel with these parameters in the inspector. Similarly, if we use it on an image logo, the logo will be transformed to a 3D logo. The flex zoom effect is similar to the built-in dynamic zoom, but with more animation controls. Using the fusion overlay controls to set the zooming start and end areas. And in the inspector, we can choose different easing options or create our own easing curve with the custom option. Essential Outline is a simple effect, but it's very convenient in the case when we need an outline for an image or in a picture-in-picture -picture clip. I have added the drop shadow control in this update, which is often required. The showcase zoom effect is one of my recent fusion effects, it was just updated two weeks ago. If you want to know more details of this effect template, you can check out previous videos through links in the description below. This effect allows us to easily create a focus pop-up that zooms into the area you want to showcase in your video. With the help of an adjustment clip, it's also easy to set the place where you want to start the showcase in your timeline. Essential Zoom Spotlight is a light version of the showcase zoom effect. It works as a spotlight by default, without any built-in animations. And we can switch the shape between an ellipse and a rectangle. Or zoom in like a magnifier. The Essential Mask effect is a very handy tool that allows us to mask the clip directly in the edit page. With this effect, not only can we mask by one type of shape, but also combine different shapes to create some unique masks. With the fusion overlay enabled, the on-screen controls are good enough for most of the masking needs in the edit page. The page turn transition simulates a page turn and reveals the following clip. I recently added this show back option to show the back color when the page turns. Instead of showing the opposite side of the outgoing clip, we can change the back color and reduce the opacity if we want. The shuffle transition template was created not long ago, it transitions the video clips like shuffling cards. In the inspector, we can change the shuffle direction, angle, distance, and change the animation easing options. Using the spin transition effect, the incoming video spins into the view. Either spin vertically, which is the default setting, or enable the horizontal spin option to spin the clips horizontally. Or change the spin direction with this reverse option. Similarly, we can also change the animation curve using these drop down options. Alright, that's all the templates included in this package, I hope you will like them. Thanks again for your support. I wish you all the best and happy holidays.